Hi everyone, welcome back to Stamped Storytellers. Today is day four of my Celebrate Sunflowers online class videos. This was a July stamp camp that we do online. So you order the product and I send you the five make and takes and we stamp together along um, with each other over video. So you can see everyone and talk with everyone. It's not recorded. And then I do pre these pre-recorded videos for you to snap again or recreate or it just for me to share with my YouTube and Facebook viewers. So today we are making this fun fold gift card holder. So you open it up and it will fit a standard size gift card. So let's get started with a white Whisper White card base. And it's the standard size of, so it's 11 inches, scored at two and a half and five and a half. So then you just fold this over and we're only going to put adhesive at the top and the bottom. You could use tear and tape as well. Then I have a layer of Mary Merlot and soft suede for the front of our card. So the soft suede layer is just an eighth of an inch smaller. And on that layer, I'm going to stamp my large sunflowers just randomly to kind of make our own designer series paper. Whoops, don't do that. So now we're gonna flip it over because I won't be able to cover that. Let's bring this closer. Try one more time. So this is like making your own designer series paper. And the tone on tone monochromatic look. I really like how it turns out on these neutral colors. So there we go. Then across that layer, I have three half inch strips of our, the Neutrals Pack Designer Series paper. So you could use either side. And then I also have pre-embossed it with the Old World embossing folder. It's kind of hard to see, but I will adhere those across the top. I'll maybe start with my middle one. And they are longer than they need to be, just so that you have some wiggle room when adding them to your card. Then I'm just going to leave a narrow space, like a sixteenth of an inch, in between each one. And just like that. And then I'll flip it over and then I can trim off the edges so they're right flush with that layer. I find that if you pre-cut all of your strips, sometimes they're a sixteenth or an, um, too short and then it's hard to recover that and make it look nice and uniform. So then this layer can get glued to our Mary Merlot layer. and stick that down. Then I'm going to adhere all these layers as well. And then we're going to do some more stamping and coloring with our Stampin' Blends. And this layer is for the inside. Now this layer, you only want adhesive on this side. So you can either only put adhesive on your cardstock on this half, or you could put adhesive down here. You just wanna make sure that you don't have any hanging off over the edge. And then the way that I've done it with my measurements is that you're actually going to have a double layer of Mary Merlot there that's an eighth of an inch um, smaller on the front. I thought it gave it some nice depth in there and then when you open it up then you still have that color on the inside. Now I've pre die cut a stitched scalloped rectangle from the Stitch So Sweetly dies and in maybe soft suede, couldn't, couldn't remember. I'm going to stamp 
oh, not on this rectangle, on this scrap piece. Scrap rectangle, I'm going to stamp the small sunflower image. And then I'm also going to stamp just this thanks, and I'm going to cut it out. So I'm only going to do the half, just so that I know that I have that word done. And that I will just fussy cut out just the that one word. Then with this image here, I'm going to color it quickly with Stampin' Blends. And I'm going to use the Light Mango Melody, the Copper, Light Old Olive, and Light Cherry Cobbler. So I'll start with my... Right, I have to go to the right and just go over the whole center. Then I'll do the leaves in light old olive. You could do blending with your light and dark of each as well. I don't find the image is necessarily requires that because it has those dark lines in it already, but you definitely could. Then the bronze for the center. And then my Light Cherry Cobbler, we don't have a Mary Merlot Stampin' Blend, so I'm just going to run my Light Cherry Cobbler over some of the detail lines, and then it really ties in our cardstock. Just like that. Then I'll die cut that with our outline image die. Now I have that die cut for the front of our card. And then this thanks, I'm just going to trim really tight to the letters. Then I'll bring in our stitch scalloped rectangle again, and I'm going to pop this one up on dimensionals. And add that in the center there. And then this little thanks, I'm just going to use a edge piece of my dimensional sheet. And adhere that on. You could also use our, what do they call them? The sticky strip dimensionals. But they're actually a little bit taller than regular dimensionals. So you'd want to make sure that if you want it to be, to look uniform. Then I'm also going to add some Castella. There we go, and I will adhere that piece onto our card front with some more dimensionals. And I'll just center that right there. So now we have a fun gift card holder, right like that, and it has the built, whoops, it has the built-in pocket that I pre-punched with our two-inch circle punch, just so you can actually reach in there and to put the card in, and then it's easy for the recipient to pull it out and see what it is. So there's our day four card using the Celebrate Sunflowers stamp set and dies. Oh, I have some rhinestones. Let's put those on. When I include rhinestones, I always leave them on the clear sheet and I just cut them into however many you need for each card. So this one, I have five. Put it there. There, how's that with some champagne rhinestones as well? 
I hope you enjoyed this card and that you go back to the previous videos and then I'll have one more tomorrow for you. If you'd like to purchase this kit, feel free to message me or comment on the video and I will see it and I will respond back. Or if you'd like to purchase anything else from me from my online store, please use this host code and I will send you a make and take packet in the mail with the video as well so you can make it along with me. Thanks, have a great day, bye.